But so I feel very lucky to have uh, chosen basic science as my profession, discovering new truths and expanding our fundamental knowledge in mathematics and physics are most marvelous human experiences. Uh, I'm grateful to have been given the opportunity to do so, and I hope to continue doing so as long as I can. Throughout, throughout my career, I have been supported by many people, teachers, friends, uh, students, and collaborators, and many of them are here today, and I'm grateful to you all. Special thanks to the organizers uh, for the wonderful conference. I grew up in a rural area in Japan and my parents had some business downtown and expected me to succeed it. So when I decided that I want to study physics in college, I had, to, I had several conversations with my parents to explain why I wanted to study physics and how it leads to a meaningful career. These discussions were also uh, good experiences for me since uh, they helped me verbalize my passion for science. So looking back, however, I'm not sure I succeeded in convincing my parents that going to college to study physics was a good idea, after all. After I left to college, I returned every summer to work at my parents' stores. Uh, I did it every summer until I got what they call real job as an assistant professor at the University of Tokyo. So one day, actually, I overheard my father talking to his customer saying that uh, my son chose to study a useless subject in college with a mix of pride and regret. I'm grateful that they believed in me, even if they may, I may, they may not have been convinced by my argument and gave me the chance to study physics. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so another wonderful thing about being a physicist is that uh, you get to meet and work with uh, exceptional people, with the shared purpose. When I was a first year graduate student, Michael Green and John Schwartz discovered the anomaly cancellation. John is there, and uh, uh, at Aspen Center for Physics, which name appeared many times already, and opened the way for superstring theory to unify the standard model of particle physics and Einstein's gravitational theory. That was a great opportunity for the first year graduate student since a whole new field just opened in front of me. Others in my generation also took notice. Naturally, several of us in our field are turning 60 this year. So, and uh, I'm happy to see Igor Krebanov and uh, uh, Eric and Herman Fialinde here today. And Nathan Berkowitz, I don't know, you're there. Uh, uh, I think he's just one year older than us, is that right? And thank you for coming. I have a lot of good memories uh, with them growing up together as researchers. At the Fair India Festival in Amsterdam this summer, I mentioned the story of Eric and Harmon scooping me and Toru Eguchi in their first paper in 1986. I met them as a postdoc in Princeton in 1988. So I just corrected the date. And David Gross was at the University and Nati Zyberg at the Institute, and we had fun together. Vadim Kuniznik was also born in 1962. I met him in the fall of 1987. That I can confirm with the proceeding uh, in Japan, just a couple of months before he passed away in Moscow. He was a brilliant theorist. For example, in today's talk by Mina Aganagdik, the Kuniznik Zamorozhikov equation was highly featured. That's Kuniznik. And I wish he was here with us today. I was educated in Japan, but uh, spent the most of my professional career in the United States, the country that has provided me so many opportunities. In 1988, I, gathered, I organized a six-month program at Santa Barbara at the Institute which is now called KITP. I believe David Gross was in his, your first year in the directorship in that year. And I had a fantastic experience uh, uh, working with him, both scientifically, as he mentioned, and also administratively, administratively organizing it. And just a few months before our program started, and it was very lucky coincidence that Juan Mardazena discovered ADS-CFT correspondence 
And we had the active ball, literally, in Santa Barbara dancing to Macarena. This is my 22nd year at Caltech, and there is a Caltech table over there. Uh, I cannot think of a better place to work. Uh, Caltech supported John Schwartz's research on superstring theory when not many others were working on it. And Caltech invested in Kipson's vision about the gravitational wave detection. The spirit is alive and well at Caltech. My colleagues are all remarkable scholars, and they also are collegial and respectful to each other. When something needs to be done, they put aside their own personal interests and support a new initiative. And I have seen this happen many, many times. I also treasure my association to Aspen Center for Physics. I first went there in the summer of 1989, I believe, to attend a workshop organized by Dan Fried uh, and others called the Mathematical Idea Arising from Conformal Field Theory. And I fell in love with the place. This summer, I celebrated the 60th anniversary of the center. So the Aspen Center for Physics, the same year, the same year as Eric Hammer, Igor, and I. And the existence of the center, sustained by just three staff members and physicists volunteering, at such a high level of activity for such a long time, seems to contradict the second law of thermodynamics. And this means that some of us has to play Maxwell's demon. And I'm happy to see my fellow demons here, uh, Chabachaki, Dan Fried, uh, Wati Taylor, and I saw John Schwar uh, jo jo uh, Clifford Johnson, Johnson somewhere. Uh, I have also been involved in a variety of activity in India, spent a uh, mention the Asian Winter School, and uh, I have worked on this uh, with uh, Spencer and Rajesh Gopakumar. Uh, I'm grateful that uh, they are here today for all the way from uh, Bangalore. Thank you, your kind speech, Spencer. In my, wife, in my life, I have experienced many wonderful things, uh, which if I paraphrase Eugene Wigner, I neither understand nor deserve. Among these miracles, uh, getting married to Kyoko was the best thing that happened to me. Kyoko is my partner and a fellow traveler in this adventure called life. On so many occasions, uh, she saved me from myself, although I would rather not go into detail of those <laughs> occasions. Uh, I'm blessed to have you in my life, Kyoko. Our daughter Sophia was born in our first year in Pasadena. We used to live in a house on the east side of uh, uh, campus, and uh, we rode the bicycles together to our schools. Uh, I to the Lauriston dance over there, and Sophia to the Polytechnic School across the street. Until one day, she said, Dad, it's OK. I can go by myself. <laughs> now she is an independent woman with her own life in New York, and I'm proud of you. The Gandhi calendar used in each East Asia is periodic in 60 years, as David said. Uh, or shall I say that my age takes value in the cyclic group of order 60? It has been a precious opportunity for me to reflect on this cycle of life. And I'm grateful to all of you for gathering here on this occasion. And I look forward to more talks tomorrow. Thank you.